Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Welcome Nick Metcalf and Lucy Ridout to the Belder BB Show. Thanks so very much for joining us. Thank you for having us on. Thank you so much. Well, I want my audience to know that you guys are here to talk about Season 2 of the Smithsonian Channel series, America in Color. And if I could start with you, Lucy, this is a fascinating oh, travel through exploring some of the most significant moments in American 20th century. Let's start. Where do you want to start? this is such a big film. It is big and it's so exciting and it's so great to bring it back as, as a second season. The first season we looked at each decade, but this time, you know, we're taking significant themes in American history. So we start on Sunday with the Wild West, the opening of the West. Um, we have uh, titans of American industry with Henry Ford and Thomas Edison. We have organized crime with Al Capone and some unseen home movies with Al Capone in them. You know, the golden years of Hollywood, playtime, which is which is such fun. Some of the great sort of events that have happened um, in America, you know, o over the 20th century. And of course, American American royalty, which looks at some of the big families and some of their their home movie collections. That's exciting by itself. Anytime for me, you put Ford, Edison, Morgan, Chase, Rockefeller into the mix it is really exciting because they're the foundation of this country. Absolutely. And not just America, too, because so many of the things that they did, um, Henry Ford and Thomas Edison, so many of the things they did changed the whole world, changed our world, too, over here, not just America. It is. You, you take all of this and, and, and condense it down. Like Lucy said, first you guys did a century. Now you're doing these significant moments. What makes a significant moment to you, Nick? Oh, can we tell an interesting story? Does it fit into a big story about America? Does it tell us something about America? Does it tell us something about the people who lived history? I mean, there are two kinds of big moments. There have been one for us. There have been wonderful moments when we have found home movie footage of people who nobody's ever going to have known, but who were living through something, an important moment in American history. And that gives you a real insight, a really interesting insight into ordinary Americans. And if it hasn't been seen before, so much the better for us. And when this footage is colorized, it just comes alive and tells you about the people 50, 100 years ago and how they weren't so very different from people now. We, we have one story in organized crime where there's a, a family's home movies um, from Battleboro, Vermont, and they, uh, they go on a trip to Canada um, just so they can go drinking with whiskey. And, um, and it's a lovely, real moment where, you know, they filmed themselves having a great time. And on the boat back, they throw their bottle over the side um, to return to Prohibition in America. And it's just someone's holiday movie. But it, it, it really illustrates a moment in American history. For both of your accents, did, did being not from America, I'm going to assume you're not outside of America, do you guys have a keen eye or a special understanding to bring these significant moments to us? Well, we know a little bit about American history, but we are guided by experts, and obviously we work with the network. Um, it's an American network, and the American executives, they will rein us in if we get too far off thread. Um, we take a lot of advice and do a lot of research um, so that we know we're following a proper story, a real story, a genuine story that's historically correct. Um, so it's very important. But at the same time, it's a fascinating story for us as outsiders. But also one thing that you learn when you look at these stories in American history, they actually impact on the world. When you look at, you know, the story of, of Henry Ford and, and the car or Edison and, and the electrification of America, that didn't just impact America, it, it impacted the whole world. So, so in that sense, the, 
the reverberations are felt everywhere. Lucy, I wanted to ask you, um, Nick talked about the color of it, but the color itself is a story by itself. I heard this was an ambitious project to do, to do it in coloration. It's very ambitious. It's a, it's a long project. So we start with, you know, we're finding the footage. We endeavour wherever to find the original footage so we can transfer it to the highest possible quality. Then when we, we, we make it into the film, uh, then it is, it is colourised and it takes, it takes a long time. But most importantly, the team that do the colourising work really hard with the research before they even put a, a speck of colour on it. Because, you know, whilst you might know what colour a tram is in New York or the, the sky is blue or the grass is green, actually what people were wearing, what kind of dyes they were using, what colour lipstick people might have, you know, the, the, the tone of hats in the 1920s, that takes real research and, and sometimes brings up some surprising results. Nick, I'm going to let you uh, wind this up for us. What is the best thing about working on this project and bringing it to us as the audience? You see a world that you sort of know about, but you think is a long way in the past. And suddenly it comes to life in color. It looks in the best quality footage. It looks like something that could be on today's news. And suddenly you realize that those lives that happened a long time ago are actually pretty similar. They faced all kinds of similar problems, similar challenges. It's a fascinating world. It's a fascinating trip through America. Season 2 of the Smithsonian Channel series, America in Color. When do you want us to watch, Nick and Lucy? When do you want us to be there? Starts this Sunday on Smithsonian. I believe it's 8 p.m. Eastern time. With the Wild West. Probably my personal favorite. The landscapes just look fabulous. And I join you on that, Nick. Nick and Lucy, thank you for being my guest and talking about it. I wish you the best, and I'm looking forward to Season 3 already. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye.